Good morning, Maya Bayavak. Here's the plan, catch up. We've actually missed three days. I thought it might be two, but we did get back yesterday and we didn't do a video yesterday for the very good reason that I just couldn't be bothered. I was so chilled and relaxed. Today, catch up, there is a lot to see. I can tell you that most of the crew got diverted away from the house again for something different this time. I'll show you in a second. So there's not a massive amount of change inside the house, but I'll show you the new project. I'll show you the state of the water in the pool, and I'll show you what else they've been up to with the smaller crew inside the house. There's a lot to see. And then today, they're still working on this other project. Glenn from the pool crew says the water in the pool will be fine by tomorrow. I'm not convinced. What could possibly go wrong? We'll start at the pool. And here in the very shallow bit, the tiles are very clear, you can see them, but you can probably make out there's a lot of dirt still in here. Let's have a look at the deep end. Here in the deep end, again, you can make out the tiles, so it is a lot clearer than it was when we left. But oh my goodness, such a lot of dirt. Here, we've got a pipe emerging from the side wall here. Come with me, take a dizzy pill. And over here, Glenn, under the watchful gaze of our engineer and our birthday boy, Foreman Manny's birthday today, and we missed singing Marvin's birthday yesterday, so there will be a small or huge celebration Saturday tomorrow. But a vacuum cleaner of sorts, cleaning up some of the dirt on the floor. So we'll see if this makes a significant difference by the end of the day. I'm really not sure how clear this will come out, but this is the area where the suction cleaner has not been applied. And this is the area where it has. To my eye, to the naked eye, it is a big difference. In the gym and spa, I think like most other areas around the house, this hasn't had much attention since we've been away. Uh, there's still quite a lot more of the shorter struts need to be applied down in the spa end. To me, it looks like maybe they've been completely diverted away from here while we've been gone. But we've now got new Rico beginning to get to grips with this ceiling frame again. Inside the home theatre room, we're pulling on wires, running more ethernet cable back to where it'll all terminate here, from everywhere in the house. In the living room, a little bit more skin coat being applied on the underside of these ledges that go on the outside to protect from rain. And on the outside, this is definitely new, we're starting to get ditches dug and pipes put in for two things. Number one, for drainage, and number two, we mentioned in a much earlier video, one of the things we're going to try and do to combat termites is we're basically going to run a pipe all the way around the outside of the house and it'll be a perforated uh, pipe and it'll have access points, I think maybe one on each corner of the house, into which we can pour termite poison and it'll run through the pipe because it's perforated it'll drip out at various well all the way along the pipe in theory and hopefully that will help to deter at least uh, some of the termites not sure we're ever going to stop them but it might just push them away a little bit this is part of the product of what most of the crew have been working on for the last three days it's a roof or oh, it's a roof frame and it goes 
on here. A greenhouse of sorts, although it will not have glass, um, it will have a solid, if we can find it, a solid plastic roof uh, that'll hopefully also have some UV protection. And on top of that, we'll then have shade cloth to try and keep out some of the sun. And down the sides, there'll also be some kind of netting of some sort, uh, again, to keep insects out, bad ones, uh, as well as provide protection from heavy winds. And then inside there, I'm gonna build raised beds. And we will try and grow stuff. This is possibly slightly, again, over-engineered, but it'll be safe in a typhoon. At least, it should be safe in a typhoon. It's about 15 meters long and five meters wide. And the side walls, I think, are a little bit over two meters high. And then it's another meter or so, a little bit less than a meter, I think, up to the apex of the roof. And I think, depending on what I do, I can get quite a few raised beds in here, which we're gonna build with concrete hollow block and rebar. But the other thing they've done is they have elevated the floor. So again, should help to reduce the amount of flooding that we get in there. But this is exciting. We might finally get a use for my compost. Uh, which was a question from John and Agnes at Philippines Good Life. When are we going to start to see some use for that compost? Well, John, here you go. It's going to be coming into here once I've started building the raised beds. And I will show the process that I'm going to follow for filling those raised beds as cheaply as possible, as well as building them as cheaply as possible. It's just after lunch. And we're back at the next house being built on the property. So the greenhouse, they just made an adjustment. Uh, we're going to put the door at this end. So they've knocked out the concrete hollow block down. So there's now only one level showing above ground. And that will be the level that they will backfill to inside. So a little bit more backfill than they have in there right now. There will be a ramp, which they're starting to construct here couple other bits and pieces that need to be done we're going to paint it white because it'll help keep things cooler um, but then it's a case of uh, contacting another supplier to give me the roofing material and various different nettings that we're going to use both on the top and on the sides but this is getting kind of close to them finishing their part back at the pool I think that vacuum cleaner thing did some good work. It's cleaned a lot of the standing dirt that was on the floor. This water still has a way to go though before it's clear. I think Glenn said a couple of days ago to the engineer that he thought that by Saturday he'd be able to drink it. I'm not sure that would be part of my plan just yet. But it is slowly but surely going in the right direction. On the north side of the house we have got more drainage ditches being dug out, our PPR pipe being readied, not for drainage, but for other things. And we've still got over there a little bit more adjustment and then I think more skim coat going on the underside of these ledges. Back in the gym and spa, we've got a lot of those struts down the wall, between the wall and the uh, first wood structures that you see a lot of those now have been done in here still a few more being done across the top Rico's just putting one into place over there still not quite there yet but I think not a lot more to do with this frame an update on solar the batteries I am now told will be installed on Monday next Monday today is Friday so quite soon we should be able to take a look at those batteries and then maybe see how all the system works together. The next two clips really are for our daughter Sabrina. 
because she needs to make her decision on bedrooms. Her two choices are this one. This is in the middle of the house at the back. So you come in here, bedroom, it's gonna get a little bit dark. Pretty decent sized walk-in closet. And bathroom, just here. That's option number one. This is option number two. The bedroom at the front of the house on the north side. And this one does have a small balcony, so we'll come in here. Bedroom. And there is the quite small but big enough for a table and chair balcony. And not a bad view. And then take a dizzy pill. No walk-in closet. This was the room very early on where we realized that the walk-in closet just made the bedroom and the bathroom too narrow. So of course there will be wardrobe space, but no walk-in closet, bathroom. Just here. Those are your choices, Sabrina. What does everybody else think? Put something in the comments. Which one would you have? And let's not forget, Papa Jess, working on wiring every day. It's a never ending job right now. Kitchen countertops. These were the granite samples we looked at. And I said in a comment somewhere that uh, we'd reveal today which one we have chosen. And so the winning contender is this one. We think that will look quite nice with the kind of dark grey finish that we've got on all the cabinets. So this will be used on pretty much all of the work surfaces in both kitchens with the exception of part of the kitchen island where there's a different plan. But that's the one we've gone with. The bell's just gone. It is 4.30 and probably not a moment too soon because I think the heavens are going to open at any second now. Here at the greenhouse we've got our ramp which is there in case I need to try and get a wheelbarrow full of dirt into the front door. Uh, it probably won't go much further than that because there may not be enough space but at least I could wheel it up and get it inside. A lot more welding was going on, a lot more bits of uh, metal were being strung across the top to add to the frame. Getting close to finishing, I think. The pool is very slowly getting clearer. But it is a slow process and it does beg the question, as a couple of people have said in comments, is the pump and filters just not quite up to the task of a pool this size? but it's going gradually in the right direction. The deep end, yes, you can see the tiles, but it's still far from clean. Tomorrow, I think that's a stretch to have clean water, but I'm pretty sure they'll be swimming anyway. In the gym and spa. I think they are really quite close to finishing this frame now. I wouldn't be surprised to start to see gypsum board going up in the next few days unless they have other plans which is always possible more ditches one going right up by the side of this house on the north side and one over here that will be a drainage ditch going down the wall and then we've got to figure out where does it go next not sure we've got a final plan for that on these ledges there has been a little bit more skim coat applied uh, just here and maybe in one or two other spots but not many around the house today and that brings to an end day 211 foreman manny's birthday the day after singing marvin's birthday and the day before 
our son Jack's birthday. It's his birthday tomorrow. So, put a comment in for any of those three. Marvin, Manny, Jack, put a comment in and a like. Wish them happy birthday. Tomorrow, we will see the rain is starting. We will see if we have a nice bright sunny day, at least at the end of the day, to allow them to hopefully have a bit of a splash around in this still not quite clean water. See you then.